What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. Yesterday, Wade Wilson was sentenced to death. This video right here, I'm going to give my two cents, my opinion on him and what I think should happen with him. Let's check it out. Florida, 2019. Two women were going about their day. The communities in Florida, people were going about their day. Just another day, right? Had no idea that there was a killer in their midst that was coming for them that was gonna actually brutalize two women, a coward. I don't know how long before he saw these two women, he had planned it out. I don't know if it was spur of the moment, but I know this guy is a straight parasite, scum of the earth lowest level type of individual. I'm the type of person, because I have been incarcerated the majority of my life, I have met thousands of people and behind those walls. I'm someone who believes that everyone at their core is good. Things go on, things happen to make people build up certain defenses, certain personas in order to protect themselves and then you run across someone like wade wilson who shows you that not everyone is good at their core wade wilson is the epitome of a piece of shit it's a term we use in prison it's a term that's used in the criminal world the worst thing to be called next to a chomo is a piece of shit and Chomos fall in that category a lot of times. Wade Wilson met Christine Melton at a bar, went to her home. And while she was asleep, he strangled her and killed her. Then he saw Diane Ruiz as he was driving, somehow talked her into getting into his car. When she was in his car, he beat her, he strangled her. But he wasn't strong enough for this woman. She was able to get away. She got out of his car and as she tried to flee, he ran her over. Not once, not twice, not 10 times, possibly up to 20 times. To strangle someone, to run someone over, that's rage. What happened in this dude's life to make him hate women and see women as targets for his, his aggression? What really happened? Who gives a damn? He got, and I say who gives a damn because I don't want to waste any time trying to justify anything that he's done. The things that he's done, and it's there's more than just this. Wade Wilson used to fake as if he was from a certain gang in Florida. And when he was in the county jail claiming to be from that gang. He was caught in a cell having sex with another man. That gang does not allow that. It's unacceptable in that gang's eyes. And they jumped on him. Apparently knocking some teeth out of his head. And he went right into protective custody. He got out was running in the streets, put on certain tattoos to keep fronting as if he was from that gang. And 
kept committing crimes. Look at this crime. Certain words had to be blocked out. I got this from JD Delay. Thank you, JD Delay, for putting out such a good video. Go and check out JD Delay's video that he put out on this individual. But look at the type of assault he commits on what age. Does, and no assault of that nature is okay, but this is a child. And he had to use a weapon. This dude is a coward. He's a chomo. And he's also a rat. Someone in the county jail who was busted for a domestic violence case reached out to him thinking he had connections because he was saying he's from this gang. And asked him if he could, if he would accept payment to have his gang, his people, go and take out the woman who he was in jail for beating, this other individual, this the woman he was in jail for beating, another disgusting individual. And what did Wade Wilson do? He gave the information to the authorities, thinking that he could work the system, manipulate the system. He could do whatever he wants to women and children and then turn in a kite, turn in a note, give information to the state and think he could play him. They used the information against the other person. And yesterday, Wade Wilson got the death penalty. I don't agree. I am against the death penalty. I don't think that average people in society should be deciding life or death for another human being. I believe that's God's job. Does he deserve death? Absolutely. Death at the hands of his peers behind those walls. Torture at the hands of his peers behind those walls. See, what he did, he earned an existence behind prison walls for the rest of his life that was, would be miserable. That would be completely miserable. No canteen. Anything he sent, packages, anything he buys in the store, taken from him. Abused. Physically, mentally. That's what should happen to somebody like that. Because that's what he did. To women. He sat in the courtroom and thought everything was a joke. He knows he gets to go back to his protective custody cell. I hope... This death penalty is overturned, and I hope he gets life without the possibility of parole and has to exist within those walls under the morals of prison life. I've told people in a lot of comments, societal morality doesn't apply in a prison environment. They have their own set of morals, codes of conduct, and justice is extremely swift. That's what Wade Wilson deserves. That's what I hope he gets. I wanna end this video with the pictures of Christine Melton and Diane Ruiz. I don't know how much family they have. I don't know their situations. But I know someone out there loves them, misses them, and wants justice. And I'm telling you now, the death penalty is a break and a breath of fresh air for the piece of shit. He's happy because he knows he'll be able to live out year after year, appeal after appeal. 
And had he gotten that life sentence, everything would change. He won't have that smirk on his face behind those walls with a life sentence. He will be living in fear. To the families that were affected, my condolences. Just know that even in the criminal world, this is unacceptable. And they will give them the death penalty. Whether it's slow or fast, it doesn't matter. That's what they'll give them. That's my video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Everybody, please be safe. Be smart. And tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out of here.